issue. Yep. The roots are what stabilize these hills, and uh, since we've lost so many emerald ash borers in the last several years, Yeah. A number of years ago, the resident, this town was started by the United Town. Because they opened the locks and couldn't figure out how to show them. This water came down here like a tsunami about an hour. Yeah. In my backyard, they fish this long. They don't live in the creek, they live in the reservoir. Yeah. And that's where they came from. Okay. Right? Number three. See these trees here? Yeah. Two years ago. Jersey Central has the tree service cut all the bottoms of the trees because they're going to touch the lines. Right. But guess what? The bottoms of the trees help the top of the tree from coming over sideways. Sure. That's what happened right here. And those three trees that are over there yep. that they trimmed yesterday are going to come down before Christmas and kill everyone in those Oh, yeah. Where do you live? I live right down at 43. Okay. Those three houses are right in the line with those things. Okay. You're we particularly concerned about the ones where the from the branches, right? How can you put a 50 yeah. pound weight on yeah. a 10 foot pole and see if you can balance it? Yeah, I'm not an expert, that's but that doesn't work right. That's 60 feet high, that tree, 50 yeah. feet high. It's gonna come down. Okay. I'm Governor, we've been working with JCPNL. They're sending more tree, uh, the tree experts in and some tree cranes in, and we're- It's not the minute for at all. No, no. Because you're fighting with- yeah, understood. The guy, the landlord that owns that yeah. property. You're fighting with United Water. Yeah. You're fighting with Everyone who comes in says, no, I was only instructed to do that. Right. Do me a favor, don't do that. Right. For the next week, it's going to come down because of what you're doing. You need to look at the bigger picture. And okay. Good, good point. Right. Hang in there. Thank you, Jerry. So, Governor, what we're about to show you is some of our most extremely damaged uh, 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 standing homes. Uh, these folks have owned these homes in their families for more than 100 years. Um, and uh, unfortunately, this is a county employee's house, so uh, we just had some police. So these houses have been here for 110 years. That tells you how the unique severity. this storm was. Oh. And this house is here. Oh. It was some 30 feet up that way. Say, it didn't start here. No, it didn't. Oh, Lord. It started about 30 feet up. If you walk around the back, we'll you see can around see the corner. Yeah. Sir, I'll probably be, is this you? Hi, Phil Murphy. Phil, right? What's your name? Phil. Yeah. Phil. Oh, I love your name. Another Phil. How bad is it for you here? Not real bad. Considering. Yeah. I got about three inches on my first floor. Okay. That's still. This is, you my house. this is your house. Oh, jeez. Uh, the water, it's 
started to come into the driveway, um, and we have two small kids, so we um, jumped in our cars and went up the hill just to family. Uh, and our neighbors, our elderly, they, they weren't able to get out in time. They uh, they witnessed the house shifting shortly after we left. So the, they ultimately got out. No, fine. Every, everyone is safe here. Yeah. Uh, that's the most important part of it. Mm -hmm. Good Lord, your kids okay? Kids are fine. Um, my, my, my sons, yeah, they were they were on the, the kids were on the ground floor, so all the the whole ground floor is gone. All their belongings got they're down in the creek, the, the Delaware. We're, we're not sure. Um, and the house is just not really sturdy enough for us to go in, so it's. Uh, yeah. So you've still got I mean, you've still got your possessions up on the second floor, right? We do, we do. Uh, and where are these folks? Are they somewhere safe? They're yeah. somewhere safe, yeah. Uh, they're, uh, again, we have a lot of family in the area. They're It's not just the first step that they took, which was reimburse New Jersey or Huntington County or Lambertville for their expenses, but this is now money for individuals. Thank you. Um, and so that opens up a whole different spectrum of support. So God willing, you'll get your rightful share of that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, FEMA's been out. We've taken a couple pictures, but we haven't haven't seen them since. Well, FEMA did that. That was their evaluation. So their okay. their assessment of this led to what. Good. The declaration. Okay. So okay, good. That's important. Dan Kelly is here from my office somewhere. Right here. So this is a guy you should make sure you, you know because he's going to be the point person for us. Super. I have a right down the road. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm happy to help out local Thank you. Honored to meet you. Again, yeah, I wish it weren't for this reason. I look forward to coming back when the witch is gone. <laughs> I appreciate you coming here. Thank right. you. My honor. here in, in town in New Jersey and it's going to make it easier for homeowners and, and people like us who lost uh, a lot or everything. Good luck. Thank you very much. Hi, Nick Saparulo. Can you spell the last name? C-E-P-P-A-R-U-L-O. And how long have you lived here in town? We've been here about 11 years. Uh, my wife's uh, family built this, uh, this property in 49 and um, we've actually built all these houses here. And how are you feeling today? Uh, Mixed of a mix of emotions. Uh, certainly, we, we went through uh, sadness, and there was some anger after that. Uh, right now, we're we're taking things day by day. Um, we're, we're constantly remind ourselves that we're lucky that everyone was safe, um, that, that our kids are safe, and that's the most important. And uh, that we can that what we lost is are, are certainly just material possessions, um, and we can uh, and we have a good support system here. So uh, we'll we'll. We'll be all right. We just uh, we need a little help getting there. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.
going to be a long-term issue for places like Swan Creek, but I do want you guys to notice the foundation of this building here. This is our not-for-profit that manages our food pantry, which a lot of our low-income residents rely on. That's a, that building is no longer safe to inhabit uh, because of the significant degradation of the, of the creek bed. So yeah, so before I read the creek or the, the property that I'll probably get out to about here. So it happened first with Irene, but to much lesser extent now Vita, it just carved everybody's every, the earth away. So I think that's the big concern moving forward is like all these houses, like how many more of these floods can we go through before the houses are in danger of getting from the land. Like up there, exactly.
just a shout out to all of the residents and the businesses in town that are providing food and I mean we have uh, I have people from Allentown New Jersey that came to visit No, but we couldn't get home. It's good to see you again. I wish it were for different reasons. I know. You look great, by the way. So retirement is a particular look. I'm going to try and stop and get some sound here for you.
very short place. About 47 for Okay. Much damage? Ridiculous. Like my fourth time. God bless you, man. My fourth time, Gov. Hang in there. Hang in. You know the congressman and the commissioner director. Hang in there, man. I agree, by the way, that libraries rock. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a phrase you hear all the time. But it deserves to be repeated. Thank you for what you're doing. Each and how bad was your house? Um, well, we took water in the basement, but it feels insignificant <laughs> compared to, <laughs> compared to, others, to yeah. what others are, how about you are all? seeing. So um, we started a neighborhood group called Lamberville Helping Hands. So it grew from 100 to now we have over 600 people. Oh my God. So we've been able to mobilize within hours. So That's the great. local community has just been, I mean, we cry at the response from everyone that's willing to pitch in. We literally send a request out and within minutes we have what we need. Good Lord, so that's the best. So it's not just Lambertville, it's all the surrounding towns as well. Yep. So the volunteer group and support, um, it's just been amazing. That's a extraordinary. Yeah, so they've been able to um, station all these uh, command posts throughout town. Yep. Um, and just residents are just so appreciative. Um, and you're even taking care of the dogs, I see. We are, we are. So, thank you for Great coming. Great job, everybody. Yeah, Thank really. you for everything you're doing. Is the library okay? Thank you for coming. Yeah, the library is okay. We're elevated. Uh, we do an apartment under the library. library. Yep. There's an apartment underneath that didn't take on water. But, um, you know, we're trying to help everybody. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for bringing me. The least you can do in the group. The more important news is the feds have said as of midnight last night that they're going to yeah. put money to work for individuals in other counties, as well as five others. So. That is, that's okay. excellent. Yeah. May we take a picture? Yeah. 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 Yeah
take a photo for the library? I would love that. The Thank take you so the, You want the library behind us? Yes. The, the, the sun is not, the lighting is yes, not ideal. Yes, you know this well. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Yeah, first of all, I'm honored to be in Lambertville. This is a town that I've spent a lot of time in uh, over the years, uh, usually happy occasions. Uh, and today it's, uh, it's for different reasons, obviously. The spirit of community in this town is extraordinary. Um, I want to thank Mayor Julia Fall, the Council President, Susan Soloway, who's the Commissioner Director for Hunter and County, and her colleagues, Congressman Tom Malinowski, Assemblyman Anthony Varelli, Assemblywoman Verlina Reynolds Jackson, among others. First Lady is with me as well. Um, this is an, one of the great communities in this state, if not this country, uh, and the spirit of, uh, of teamwork and community activism is overwhelming. It will get back on its feet. We will stay with it until it does. It won't be overnight, unfortunately. There's a lot of damage here. So just a plus or minus midnight last night, Dan Kelly from my office is with us. The president accepted uh, our request for a major disaster declaration in six New Jersey counties, uh, including right here in Hunterdon County. So Dan will correct me if I don't get it right. It's Gloucester, Hunterdon, Middlesex, Passaic, Bergen, and Somerset. Somerset. Thank you. Uh, and, and so that's a huge step. Now, what that, what that means in layman's terms is the emergency declaration, which we already had, that, that, that was important for equipment. It was important for reimbursing state, county, and local uh, authorities for money that they spent uh, on, on this awful tragedy. The major disaster declaration means individuals are now eligible for money in those counties. Now, before you ask it, there were 15 other counties in New Jersey, and we're in there fighting on behalf of any of those other counties that were impacted. This is what I would, I would I'd like folks to think of this as a work in progress. So this is the first six, the most obvious six, but not necessarily the last six. And so we're going to stay in there fighting to get uh, other counties added to that list. The president is visiting tomorrow. This is obviously a topic of conversation that I will have with him. Importantly, if you're in the six counties that uh, were, were received that major disaster declaration, the website to go to is disasterassistance.gov. That's where you go to toll up your expenses and the damage that you've assessed, that you've incurred. If you're in the other 15 counties, uh, this is not my idea, this is just the way this works with FEMA, you go to nj.gov slash IDA, nj.gov slash IDA and input your damages, receipts, et cetera, into that, into that website. And Dan will correct me if I'm wrong. If other counties become eligible, and we are hopeful that they will, um, your, your information will be automatically shifted from nj.gov slash IDA over to, gov, uh, over to disasterassistance.gov. Or, or Dan or I will do it by hand. But uh, we don't want to make people input that stuff twice, if, if at all possible. Last point I want to make is Sadly, the toll of uh, loss of life remains where it was yesterday, 27 losses of life, including, Susan reminded me, six here, pardon, me, pardon my back, ladies, six here in Hunterdon County, um, and four missing. So God rest the souls of those we lost. Keep their families in your prayers, and also that we may have a miracle and find one of the four who are missing. Any, any here else in Lambertville? No, no, one, no in one in Lambertville. Lambertville. In fact, Julia told us that we're barely any casualties of any Outside of a couple of cats, I think we did okay. Very but good. that's only because of the county uh, first responders and our homegrown first responders. They did an incredible job mobilizing water rescues immediately when the flash flooding, we realized flash flooding was going to be so serious. And, and, uh, and Susan was given the state, uh, uh, the Colonel Callahan credit for Task Force One that came in with a bunch of boats. And that combination of efforts saved lives. The young homeowner you met, Nick, uh, when he first got here, and his house was off the foundation. Yes. I know you said you don't know when he can get money, but yeah. obviously they're in a pretty tough spot yeah, right now. Yeah, but sooner than later, right? So the, the fact that this declaration has been declared is a big deal, and that includes not just eligibility, but God willing speed. Anybody else real quick? What can be done long term to improve infrastructure so stuff like this doesn't happen yeah, in the future? Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the big riddle here. It's not just, it's getting people back on their feet, and then it's thanks to leadership by guys like Tom Malinowski in Congress, 
to get climate resiliency infrastructure uh, mandated from the federal government, of which New Jersey would be a huge disproportionate beneficiary given our density and our location. But we can't keep seeing this this movie again. I just spoke to a guy for his fourth time. He loves this place. He's going to rebuild. He's going to stay here. But we owe it to people like that to, to have better, stronger uh, climate infrastructure. And that's what that's, we're all going to try for. Governor? That's in the infrastructure bill, which is going to pass at the end of September, more than $50 billion for climate resiliency infrastructure, for flood control, for stormwater management, for exactly the stuff we're going to need to prevent this from happening again. But don't forget, this could get worse if we don't also do something about climate change. I also believe that we have been protecting lands and with, through open space and farmland because the more we are forced to build with uh, housing, um, our hands are tied. Yeah. The impervious surface, the water has nowhere to go. So we have to keep preserving property, which Hunterdon County is the number one in the state with uh, preserved land and open space. And uh, we're going to try to do that. Amen. Amen. Go, 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 go. Um, I'm, I'm sure you're getting a uh, pretty good reception from folks. Uh, as you walk through here today, happy to see you. But this is Jersey, and not everybody appreciates everything all the time. Are you getting any pushback? People saying, "Why didn't you keep the flood waters away?" Or yeah, or, I mean, I, 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 people. I don't blame people who have that reaction for one second. How, how could you begrudge them? And today, most everybody's been extraordinarily gracious. But there are some folks out there that I've met that are mad as heck and can't take it anymore, and I don't blame them. Uh, and that gets back to the question that you asked. We can't keep seeing the same movie we've got to we not only have to get people back on their feet which we will do and it won't be overnight but we'll stay with them the whole way but we've got to we've got to do the stuff uh, that we know we need to do that makes us more resilient and, and, and increases our chances that this stuff doesn't continue to happen thank you Thanks all everyone. so much We go this way? Yeah, right up there. I've been, I've been through this with seven governors. I've got to go. That's crazy. That's crazy. Good to see you. See you, Governor. Thanks. 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 Thanks.